Hi, I'm Alex Campbell. I'm a senior sustainability consultant at TDC Net in Denmark. Sure, thanks for the question. So the chapter is titled Making Your ICT Value Chain Net Zero. And in it, I present a framework for addressing emissions from uh, purchased goods and services. This can be somewhat of a daunting task as it involves what they call scope three emissions from your value chain. And these are typically the largest source of emissions for a company in the ICT industry. Uh, and it has everything that makes addressing climate change tricky. It's hard to measure, is beyond your direct control. It requires a longer time horizon and involves changing the behavior of others. Um, to add to the complexity of this task, many companies have thousands upon thousands of suppliers. So my chapter gives some insight into where to start and how to build a program. And it's based on the work that I've been doing over the past few years, uh, specifically engaging procurement and uh, creating a framework for sustainable procurement which I call the net zero framework for purchase goods and services and capital goods. So I'm working in the telecommunication industry and from what I've seen that part of the ICT industry is quite advanced when it comes to managing CO2. Through industry associations like the GSMA or JAC, a significant portion of global CO2 emissions from network operators are already covered by a net zero target or commitment. However, I've seen that there are other areas of the ICT industry where, uh, for example, in the data center community, where they've still got a little bit more work to go. Now, the data center community is an industry where there's, you know, significantly more complications when it comes to scope three, because there's very different ownership and leasing agreements that are set up. And uh, one thing that they are working towards, however, from what I understand is standardizing the accounting practices which is what we did in telecommunications uh, within, in the past few years. And another thing that wanted uh, that, you know, where I wanted to get involved here is I've been working with sustainable procurement for 15 years now. And when it comes to addressing CO2 emissions, you require a lot of different skill sets. And this is happens to be the particular skill set that I've been developing over the course of my career. So I believe that by sharing how to engage with a procurement department, how to use their tools and their engagement methodologies, it makes the work a lot easier. Procurement people are driven by cost savings, and now it's just about getting them to apply that drive towards CO2. Well, uh, working in Europe, I'm of course focused on the CSDDD, as it's called, the Corporate Sustainability Due Diligence Directive. And uh, this is going to come into force in the next few years. It was just adopted last month. And it establishes a corporate due diligence duty addressing social and environmental impacts and risks at companies and their value chains. Naturally, as being a scope three professional, this is something that I'm, you know, quite uh, will be affected by and will have to work with significantly. And it's not just in the EU, it's also for non-EU companies with more than 250 employees or 40 million euro in turnover. So this is going to affect a lot of people.